May profits be upon you. This is RT Money, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm representing Lions Den FX, and we're going to take a look at Euro New Zealand dollar, the Euro New Zealand dollar. Why are we looking at that? Why? Because New Zealand dollar is one of the strongest, and Euro, the Euro is one of the weakest. Anything two and above is, is, uh, really strong and you want to put that against one of the weaker ones which is anything minus two and and lower right uh that gives you the greatest uh chances for success in taking uh, uh shorts in euro new zealand dollar in this example it, you know if you put the strongest against the weakest right uh that was the rt money meter <laughs> rt money meter but uh, that's my rankings for this week. Take a, 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 a look at it and uh, maybe you might find some inspiration there. Okay, so what am I looking at here? Euro New Zealand dollar. The first thing I wanna notice, I, wanna, I, I take notice of is we've come into this market on the, uh, I'm looking at the daily, all right? Coming to this market, very bearish, right? Coming down to a low a lower high, a lower low, breaking this low here, right? And then we break this high. Surprise, this shifts the market from bearish momentum to bullish momentum, except it doesn't hold. It goes right back down and breaks that low. We are now back bearish, all right? We are in a very bearish market and I'm having memory problems here. I don't know why it's taking so long to, I don't know what just happened. I really don't. Uh, I don't know why, why it's doing that. All right, so I had to start over behind that, that mess just a, a minute ago. Anyway, so what, I'm, what am I looking at right here? We see that price broke structure to the downside. What do we expect after a break of structure? We expect a return to impulse, right? It didn't make it. Why? Because there's too much momentum, too much bearish momentum for us to go all the way back to uh, uh, the origin. All right. That's not going to happen this time. All right. So we did get a pullback, but it wasn't a very strong pullback. But you know, we want to notice what kind of pullback it was. All right. We see it makes a high, pulls back, makes a higher high. Right. And then we break that pull. That that uh that pullback point, that swing low, we break that low. All right, that's something to notice because this represents a change of character from, uh, uh, you know this this newly found bullish momentum to bearish momentum. Okay, chalks are uh, the, the uh, uh uh change of character is the early warning sign that price is about to shift the momentum, okay? It's not like a break of structure, which confirms a shift in market bias, all right? It confirms a, 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 a shift in the momentum, all right? Uh, change of character just gives you an early indication that that, that might be uh, uh, what's happening right now, okay? So it's very aggressive to take uh, change of characters entry, change of character entries. It's best to take them with the flow of the market, with the trend. All right. If it's pro trend, I'll take those those entries all day, every day. Uh, if it's counter trend, though, I need more confirmation in order to take that trade. Anyway, that's that's my little lesson for the day. Anyway, so we make this low. All right. We pull back, pull back and then break that pullback point. We have some momentum. You see these candles? We got some momentum coming in. We are now filling this daily wick. We are at the 50% mark of this daily wick and we're showing a little bit of signs of exhaustion here, but we still have some rejection going to the upside. Now, when I see this, the first thing I wanna think about is, where's it going? All right, where, what area could possibly reverse price? All right, where could this bearish momentum stop, all right, be stopped. I look all the way over here to the left and I'm looking at possible areas, all right? 
If price is up here, I'm looking to see where is the unmitigated demand zone, all right? Is this unmitigated here? All right, would I, could, could I mark that out? Is that unmitigated? No, you see these wicks going down into the, zero, the, the, zone, the zone already. So what is that saying? Again, I'm having uh, lagging issues. Uh, what is that about? All right, so because the, the wick is going into that area, I'm thinking that uh, this is a weak zone and price is gonna probably pop through it. What about this zone, All right? We ha already had this one mitigate this zone already. Okay, interesting, All right? So we move over further. There's a fair fair value gap here. Price did, did go into this area already, but it hasn't filled it, all right? The filling would take down would take us down to here. This is where at the at the top of this wick is where this uh uh this imbalance zone uh ends. All right. So we have some room. We have some room. We have an unmitigated demand zone down here. All right. That's where I that's where I think price would be heading. I don't understand why I have why I'm having these these lagging issues here, man. Wow. All right. So I'm coming back over here. Let's do that in the first place. All right. So if price is heading down to the, this area, if, if, if that is the intent of price, we're going to be targeting this low. Why would we be, why would I look at that low? Because it's weak. It's weak. This week, this low didn't make a new high. Period. <laughs> All right. It didn't make a new high. That was this only job. And uh, because it didn't bring a, bring a new high, it's going to be a target for liquidity. All right. Weak highs, weak lows, they become targets for liquidity. All right. Now, if we go to the four hour, maybe we can see some price action to give us uh, further clues. Right. Now, look at the quality. This, this was a zone of demand. Look at the quality of it now. All right. I need you to put your microphone, microphone, your microscope on this, all right? We have these wicks that came down into the zone itself. What does that mean? Come on, man. This was the zone all the way down here, right? And you can see once the zone was created, price came back into it, all right? That lower was it down, all right? And then came back into it again, all right? That lowers it even further. Okay, so what, what does that mean? Uh, it means that this zone has been mitigated. That means that it's not as reliable to reverse price all the way up. Maybe we'll get a reaction, but it won't reverse price. Here is an unmitigated zone. All right, you see, there's a gap. There was a uh, imbalance leading up to it, and uh, uh, it's, it hasn't been uh, tested yet. If we come all the way over here to the left, we see that it's been mitigated, didn't give much of a reaction. We have this rejection from up top and price is coming back into the zone. Does it, does it look like it's gonna fail? Yes, it does look like it's gonna fail. And we're gonna eat our way into, into the middle point of this, uh, this, uh, uh, this zone of demand, okay? Now, I believe that we're gonna target the low because it's weak, all right? So what does this mean? What I wanna do, like I say in my previous videos, please check them out, all right? I always give technique and strategy, all right? This area here is, is a un, looks like it's an unmitigated zone of supply. I'm gonna check it out real close. Yeah, we haven't, been, we haven't mitigated it yet. All right, this is an unmitigated zone of supply. All right, and we're creating another one here. If we go down to the 15, we're gonna see this very clearly. But what happens is when, what happened was, all right, what happens is if price breaks through a zone of demand, all right, if we break through here, what am, I look, what am I expecting? I'm expecting a return to impulse because we're breaking lows. All right, we're breaking structural points. We're breaking a, zone and when you break a zone 
you look for the extreme of the reaction to take a short from in this in this uh, bearish uh, situation. All right, this uh, and we're looking for an unmitigated zone for price to come back to. This this is an unmitigated zone. Okay, now that doesn't mean it stopped. It the the reaction has stopped. We can see how this is a bearish candle here. Let me get rid of this. Excuse me. All right, see how this is a bearish candle here. We're having a, a reaction here. This reaction can turn can turn uh, bullish and still continue up. This becomes my new uh, 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 extreme to take the trade from. Not this one. This one does. If it's, especially if it's unmitigated. Do, do you understand? You go with the most recent reaction and the extreme of that reaction to this, sorry, to this uh, zone of demand. So if price comes back up here and then crashes through, this becomes my extreme right here. And this is where I would wait for price to come back to and I would take my short. Hope that clarifies. Okay, so I wanna take a look at the price action on 15 for your viewing pleasure, all right? and. Uh, Let's see if we can refine some things. All right. Again, this is the area that has not been mitigated yet. We see we have equal, equal, we had equal highs until price came up and swept, swept that liquidity with this wick here. All right. Creating a new zone of supply. So this is the last reaction point. And this is the extreme of that reaction. So if price continues down from this point, and then comes back up. I'm looking for price to hit me here. Yeah, hit me on this uh this zone so I can take my uh short from here, just like that. And I would pick a uh, a higher time frame uh target. Uh you know, matter of fact, that daily zone I have down here, that's where I would be targeting full show, full show. Do you understand? All right, that's that scenario. Got it? Now, should things go the other way, all right? Should things go the other way? Maybe, maybe price does one of these numbers, right? Makes a low, a lower low, breaks to the upside. What am I doing? I'm looking for the uh, return to impulse, the return to origin, and I would take a long here. I would, because we're at a, a zone, a, a higher time frame um, uh, demand zone. We just showed a change of character. I would look for a break above these highs for a break of a break of structure, which would confirm the uh, the the upward uh, momentum is 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 definitely uh, in play, and I would wait for a, pr a price to return to impulse, and take that confirm that confirmation entry. This one is more aggressive. If you wait for the change of character, a low, a swing a swing high, a lower low, and then a break of that swing high. You understand? Wait for the price to come back, and this is more aggressive. That is a change of character. Uh, entry. All right. It's riskier. This is the confirmation after you wait for a break of structure. This is the confirmation entry, which is safer. I hope you understand those two scenarios. All right. So we're prepared to go either way. If we got to go long, we'll wait for a confirmation. All right. If we got to go long, that is a pro, that is a, a counter trend trade. Do you understand that? In this scenario, this is a bearish scenario. All right, because the market is bearish. It'll be a counter, counter trend trade to wait for a uh, price to uh, head back up, riskier trade. So you need confirmation, all right? I want to see this, this high, these highs being broken before I even think about entering here and then uh, taking the long position, all right? But if price continues down, comes back, boom, I'm taking that. I'm taking that all day, every day. All right. If it comes back, if it if it uh, uh, comes back sooner, you know, without breaking this breaking the uh, uh, demand first. All right. 
then I'm looking for uh, a, a, a a break of structure to the upside. All right, I'm looking for that change, that break of structure and a return to impulse, and then I will take that trade up. You understand? But I need confirmation with that one. All right. Hope you understand those two scenarios. Hope this uh, uh, analysis benefited you in some kind of way. Make sure you leave a like. Uh, you know, just tap the like button for me if you don't mind. That would help the YouTube algorithm and help my channel to grow. All right. Uh, 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 look at, check out the two videos I have on your screen right now. Both of them pertain to the week ahead. And I want you to trade safely. I'll see you in the next video.